Today we'll be assembling the Voya XT stroller wagon. Align the rear brake assembly with the rear of the frame. Be sure to match the L and the R stickers on the brake with the frame. Push both ends of the brake assembly into place over the ends of the frame. Note, the hole on the brake assembly should align with the hole on the frame. Flip the wagon so the front is facing up. Slide the axle through the bottom holes of the brake assembly. Be sure to align the notch with the housing. Match the left and right rear wheel with the respective sides of the frame. Slide each wheel onto the axle before capturing each side with the washer and lock nut. Use the provided plastic wrench to tighten the lock nut securing the rear wheels to the frame. Align the three tabs on the red wheel cover with the three slots in the wheel. Press the wheel cover into place. Repeat for both wheels. Match the front casters to their respective sides of the wagon. Firmly press the casters into place. To remove the front wheels, use a flathead to push the silver tab locking the wheel in place. Align the two holes on the front handle assembly with the holes in the center of the frame. Insert an M6 by 38 shoulder bolt into each of the holes. Use a screwdriver to tighten the bolts. Set the wagon upright. Pull on the folding latch at the center of the frame and unfold the wagon. To unfold the storage basket, pull the straps free from the bottom corners. Push the panel with the tab down to create the floor of the basket. Install the storage bag by aligning the two hooks on the crossbar at the rear of the frame under the push bar. To remove the storage bag, pull up on both handles. To install the seats, align the two hooks on the back of the seat assembly with the crossbar at the top of the frame. Then, buckle the seat to the wagon body. Fasten the seats to the wagon walls by sliding the metal plates on either side of the seat over the posts on the wall. Note, the seats are interchangeable and will fit on either side. Roll up the seat cover and store the pouch at the rear of the seat back. Zip the pouch shut. To fold up the seats, unzip the pouch at the rear of the seat back. Pull out the cover and drape it over the seats. Unfasten the plates from the wagon walls and fold the seat bench up. Buckle the cover to the underside of the seats. To remove the seat, undo the buckle on the seat back and lift the seat free from the wagon. Assemble the two cup holders to any of the mounting locations on the four corners of the wagon. Slide the cup holder over the tab of the frame to assemble. To remove, pull straight up on the cup holder. 
To assemble the parent caddy, wrap the Velcro strap under the push bar just above where the leather hand grip ends. Feed the strap through the D-ring and secure the end back over the length of the strap. Assemble the canopies by aligning the slots with the mounting tabs on either side of the seat. Push them into place. To remove the canopies, pull upwards where the canopy attaches to the wagon. The peekaboo window is magnetically held in place. Pull back to look inside. Snap the snack tray in place at the center of the wagon by pushing down. To remove the tray, push the gray buttons on either side and lift free. To extend or collapse the pole handle, push the gray button and pull or push the handle to the desired height. Then release the button. To unfold the push bar, press both gray buttons on the inside of the bar simultaneously. Rotate the bar into the desired position and release the buttons. To engage the brake, step down on the brake bar. To disengage the brake, lift up on the bar. One mesh panel on each side of the wagon unzips so kids can climb in and out. To fold the wagon as compactly as possible, fold the canopies and push bar and lower the pole handle all the way down. Push on both gray buttons under the snack tray on either side of the wagon while pulling up at the same time. Pull up until the fold latch clicks in place. And now you're ready to roll.